Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is me, your boy, the man, NJ, number two, the city, with a number two in the TL. Let's go. So, quick thing, ladies and gentlemen, um, just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video to let you know about a few of the records, if not really a few, but a lot of the records that I produced back in either 2016, 2015, I wouldn't say 2017, but definitely 2015, 2016, uh, 2014. Um, a majority of those records, if not all of those records, were a complete rush job, and that means that I just put them out without any full, I want to say, um, contents of quality, and I just put them out to be putting them out there, you know. Honestly, I can assure you the tracks that, you know, I could, I would presume or like that is, um, like, going back to my, the new 2016 Perspectives from the 904 album back in 2016, I can go back to that and I can definitely share with y'all this because I'm making this video to let you know some of these projects, past projects were complete rush jobs and did not, and they, and they lacked quality, they lacked quality. That's why I keep trying to go through my YouTube channel almost daily or two or three times a week, I guess, to update this stuff when it comes to what was quality, what was not. Because I really do, like I said, I kind of want to scrub the entire thing somewhat clean of the tracks that were not quality and redo them to where they are now quality. You know, because like I said, some of these tracks are not quality whatsoever. You know, but some of these tracks I know I got right the first time and I'm trying to you know, decide for which ones that I get right the first time, you know, from which ones I need to absolutely delete and get off here. So, go back to my Breaking the 904 Code album, which I'm pretty sure that was an album released in 2015, or 2016, probably 2016, probably, that was probably released January, February, or March of 2016, or even later. But definitely Breaking the 904 Code, uh, songs like Going Hard, or I Know For Sure Thing, um, I got that right the first time, which I produced it. Now, when I say I got it right the first time, like the flow of the, the, the my, my, like my flow going along with the beat, I got that right the first time. I'm not saying that, you know, when it comes to how well you heard my vocals, I got that right. But at least from what I heard the first time I was recording, I well, first time I attached the beat to it, I'm like, yeah, this is got this right the first time. Automatically fits. Songs like Breaking the Code as well is like a. You know, I want to say it's like an old school type vibe, but if not an old school type vibe, it's definitely a vibe that I'm okay with overall. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to go back in my YouTube channel and I'm going to scrub at least half the stuff or most of the stuff from the past few years, you know, clean. Because like I said, I, I really am trying to fill this channel, especially since this is the main one that I pr promote. I don't really promote any other YouTube channel that I have like this one. I'm trying to fill, fill it all with of good worthy content for everybody to listen to and enjoy and make their anthems because again you know, I don't make music not to have people make them eventually to an anthem or play them like an anthem is a better, better way it's like I make the anthem but you play it like an anthem is a better way of saying that so uh, I don't you know I make music purely for like I say I make music for the kids I make music for my friends I make music for my school I make music for schools period for the youth I make uh, music you know about myself and for myself and other stuff like that, so forth and so forth. The cycle, cycle can really just go on and on and on when it comes to that. But definitely songs like Tell Your Friends, I don't really regret that song. Uh, that's me, I might not regret that. Um, Starlet Beauty probably needs to be remastered. Better Friend probably needs to be remastered. Poppies and Fest. Like most of the songs on this album, on the Breaking the 904 Code album, probably needs to be remastered and definitely will probably be remastered. Eventually, over time, it just depends on when I will actually delete them and then, you know, put them back out there. But I'm probably going to do that all tonight, at least when it comes to the deleting of the tracks. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to fill this channel up with, you know, the, the utmost quality tracks of everything I can. Because, like I said, I promote this channel all the time. You know, I pass out cards with the channel's name on it all the time. And I really do want, you know, to make sure, sure when people come on my channel, they're getting the absolute best of quality they can. And not... A huge rush job because some of this music back then two or three years ago was a complete rush job and it lacked mostly quality you know the lyrics have always been on point but with some of these tracks they just lacked complete quality and it, and it sounds even sounds like a rush job now my song called legend part two that was not a rush job at all i legitimately, legitimately i would sorry legitimately was rapping fast on that song to where 
you might have to tell everybody who who is listening to it. You have to literally be quiet if you want to hear anything, any lyrics within it. Because I was legitimately rapping fast. I, songs like that, I totally remember like it was yesterday producing some songs like that. You know, like my flow matched the the uh, the uh, I'm pretty sure the beats, the drum patterns, the drum patterns called Concrete Jungle, and my uh, flow matched that, at least overall it did, at least for my, my taste and opinion, it did. So that's what I did. I matched that that beat up with, with my vocals, with my flow, and then songs like Legend Part 2 ended up becoming what they became. I'm overall, dynamic behavior, proud of songs like that, and I'm not deleting songs like that. That's definitely memorable that I really do want people to, you know, take it way, way back. I really, really do want you to listen to songs like that and be like, okay, this is way, way back with NJ to the City. You know, some of these songs, like I said, will stay on this channel because I do want them to represent as my, you could say my humble, my humble beginnings of, you know, way back before I got as good as I believe I am now at producing these tracks. Like I said, songs like Breaking, Breaking the 904 Code, Going Harder, Tell Your Friends, I believe songs like that's me as well. Um, but definitely Going Harder, Breaking the 904 Code. And tell your friends, those, those, those are three tracks I can assure you are going to stay on this channel for, you know, ever, for pretty much. Um, everything else I'm going to listen to again and see whether they should stay. And if they shouldn't, I'm going to either rewrite them or refreestyle them and then put them out at a later, little later date and time. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just trying to do what I can to go back into my, you know, content portal. Go back into the content, you know, catalogs and see what is a truly a quality with my music, past, present, and future. Because, like I said before, you know, I do want myself to be one of those artists that you can turn on any and every song, especially since I promote this YouTube channel like I do. I want my music to be where you you can turn on any Injury to the City song on this channel and it automatically be of quality. Automatically. You don't have to be like, what now? Like, uh-uh, turn this off, turn something else. So I want every song to feel like it's of quality in some type of way. So, and definitely, you know, I'm going to be doing that. So just let y'all know that some of these albums will probably be deleted over the weekend or over the uh, upcoming weeks. And um, shout out, God bless everybody who's um, in whatever county you're in, who's um, been enjoying prom over the last uh, week or two, or is about to enjoy prom within the next week or two. Shout out, God bless all of you. Um, like I said, I'm totally not going. I should be going. That's definitely again one of my uh, biggest top five high school mistakes. But um, like I said, I'll stay making music for the moments and for the events and I hope that one of these days within the next five years I can recapture what I know I, I missed by hopefully showing up to, you know, who you know who's ever prom if they allow me to with whoever or I will end up hosting my own prom eventually, I guess, you know. Uh, but like I say, Nice alumni, so hopefully they'll let me back and, you know, and, and again, hopefully they'll be performing, you know, you know, let me back in for a prom later on uh, in, in my life and or hopefully I'll be performing perf perf I'm injured to the city so most people would absolutely love having having me back there at the school you know and etc cetera, etc cetera. but yeah eight minutes into this ladies and gentlemen like I say um hope everybody's enjoying everything the songs that I can uh, again definitely share with you that uh like I say I just released and I'm very very happy and proud of them are songs such as um Believe in us, across the way, wifey goals, my team, a part of my family, you know, for the kids, this is more, all my friends. I'm very happy of all these tracks that I've newly released, and I do hope that everybody definitely listens to them. And please, again, this is more album version. If you were to ask me, that's better than the first one that I dropped, you know, at least if you were to ask me, you know. But the point is, I hope that everybody enjoys all of the new music that's already been dropping, already, already coming um, forward soon. Again, we're all family, ladies and gentlemen. You know my morals by now. If you don't, I have plenty of video videos on this channel proving my, my morals, my character, my integrity, my identity. Ton of videos on here, ton of music on here proving it all. You can go to my Twitter, NJ, number two, the city, capital N, capital J, number two, capital T, lowercase H, E, capital C, lowercase I, T, Y, and Snapchat, all lowercase letters, even some of my Instagram, my Instagram as well. I don't even use Instagram like that every single day, but you can... Looking, you got plenty of outlets. The point is, you got plenty of outlets to look at. Again, more references of my true integrity, character, morals, dignity, and so forth and so forth. Love Nice, love St. John's, love Nocatee, love all my friends. My friends are my family. I cherish them. 
as that every day, and I try what I can to support and encourage everybody to the God for our most best, of which again we're all destined for, so forth and so forth. So yeah, uh, yeah. So I pretty much said everything that I wanted to say in this video, y'all. So again, for prom, stay safe, stay happy, stay humble, stay fruitful, stay prosperous, stay God first, and stay responsible, and um, take care, and hope everybody has a fantastic weekend and has a uh, fantastic um, last few weeks of uh, school, whether you're senior or not, because um, I really do hope that everybody does that does their, their absolute best to end this year off on a really good note. By the way, if you're laughing in the background, that's because uh, my mother is watching a really, really funny video on YouTube right now. It is not, you know, me. It's something else that she's, she's watching, just to let you know. Because I'm not, not going to delete this, this, this video, and I can't edit it any better than this. So just, just to let you know, if you, if you rewind this and you hear some laughing, my mom's in, in the, the living room watching a really, really funny video on, on YouTube. But um, just to let y'all know, yeah, um, stay, ho stay and humble. Uh, prosperous, vigilant, aware, all that other God for stuff, and um, towards this end, the end of this year, especially freshmen, make sure that you can get, make sure you end your uh, freshman year off on the absolute best note to where you do not, and repeat, repeat after me, where you do not have to go to algebra camp over the summer in July. I went two years ago, 2016. It was good. It was fun. It was awesome for me. But at the same time, I don't wish that on anybody to have to go there because they failed algebra. I don't wish to have that on anybody. So I really do hope that you or or you felt the ELC or one of those two things. So I really do hope that you all do what you got to do to, you know, own it with uh, making sure that you. And because I think they either already they either already took 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 the protest away or they're about to take take the protest away. So I'm thankful to God that I took the protest when I could because because that regular ELC. Is a cutthroat thing. When I say cutthroat, it's like very slim that people even pass it. That's like a one out. Of, that's like a one or two out of five that most people even pass it. So, you know. So I hope everybody does what they can to make sure they don't that they don't have to go to al uh, algebra camp whatsoever. But if you do, again, soak up as much knowledge as you can there. Try to learn, you know, learn God for as much as you can. That's going to help you benefit um, from it in the summer and towards next year, towards the rest of your high school career, towards getting the grades that you God first honorably want and getting into the college that you God first honorably want as well. So on and so forth and so forth. Take care, guys. More music coming soon. Take care. I love y'all.